that just so I'm not talking to myself or waving my hands around with, you know, actually no sound. But welcome to today's live. Uh, wow. It, mm, Mondays. Am I right? <laughs> it actually wasn't that bad a day. I'm just feeling a little bit all over the place and that is entirely my fault because I haven't been using my journal the last couple of days so I'm at a little bit of a loss in terms of like actually having my stuff organized but today before we get into setting up our reading tracker I went and collected a package today so I figured we'd just unbox what I have only quickly just to kind of you know see the goodies that arrived and then we will get into actually making the tracker um, so if you don't know for last month um january yeah we had a tracker for our reading journal um by reading journal i mean for our book that we're reading for book club um and i actually found it just like it kept me motivated to actually get into my book and actually reading so i want to set up another one for this month even though we're literally halfway through the month at this point i've just found that i haven't been keeping on top of the book so I want to set up a page in my current journal, which we will get out in a second. For now though, you can see one of the first parts of my order that arrived today, which I've actually already unboxed, was the pink ampersand, which I, you know, we're building a journal rainbow here. So this is very much a uh, part of my you new know, little pink collection. I only have two other pink journals um, at the moment, but I do technically have another one in the box that's over here. <laughs> So a pink ampersand journal was one of the ones that I picked up. So good new addition for our journal rainbow. That one can go to the side. Bonk. Then I also got the Simply Gilded Collection. So you can see the Simply Gilded Collection came with a journal, which I haven't unwrapped yet, and some decorative washi tapes. There we go. So in terms of designs of those, we have some little bows and floral kind of bits which is pretty cute and we've got this kind of thin washi it's not actually green this is just to keep the washi together so it's got this like very small grid where half of it is gold and foiled and the other half is pink i don't know how how well you guys can see that but it is pretty cute so that's the other one or another one Ah, stars, my favorite. So we have some foiled stars and sparkles, which is super gorgeous. This is completely up my alley, so that is great. Again, not too sure if you can actually see it, but it's very pretty. <laughs> so we have that one. And then the last one, you knew there was going to have to be in here. So signature bows on pink. Very pretty. Interesting feel to the tape. Is that glittery? I think it's got like a slight, a slight shine to it. Yeah. <laughs> my hands are totes bottle worthy. I don't know, man. I have been chewing on my fingers. Now I'm very acutely aware of it. So I'm just gonna, just gonna handle the tape like this. <laughs> there we go. So that is our washi collection for the Simply Gilded um, collaboration. So it comes as a bundle. It comes with the journal and these washi tapes. So putting the washi tape to the side, very cute. We can put those in the pile gently. Now, getting into the journal. The special thing about this journal is that it's not got white paper, which is pretty nifty. And I think that this would be something kind of cool for the Archer and Olive team to kind of explore more in the future. Uh, so doing more of this. But as can be expected, in terms of the cover of this journal, we're thinking pink again, we're thinking the bow again. The thing that I've got about this one is that the bow seem very high, which is interesting, but it is this pink linen, super, super pretty. Um, get him out just so we can see. We've got that gilded gold edge. Oh, I love gilded edges. I'm a sucker for a gilded edge. So that is very nice. And if we slide this off and have a look at our paper. So I think that the thing that's also special about this one is that the pen loop is pink as well, because typically, even with their colored journals, the pen loop is still black. So it's quite interesting. But if we open it up, you can see we have a really pretty pale like pale pink dot grid paper, rather than the regular um, white, 
which I know looks a little bit more beige peachy in the footage, I'm pretty sure, but let's see if we get another journal out to compare. And just grab my long-term collections journal, which is sitting here. So this is our regular white paper. And then this is the pink paper, which I think shows it up a little bit better. It is kind of a warmer pink color, but I don't think it's as creamy as it looks on the camera. But yeah, so it's quite nice. This is, just, this is a little special. There we go. Uh, nice pink. I am, um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to use it for. Like, you know, obviously in my day-to-day -day journaling, it is uh, the A5 size that I do like to use, but I'm not too sure how I'd go about using a pink journal like pink paper journal but maybe that could be one of the ones I experiment with this year I'm very much hoping that this year I get to experiment with different types of journals not not in the sense of like different branded journals but maybe try out doing uh journaling in a b6 or journaling in a b5 um maybe try my hand at pink paper we'll just slip that back on but very cute so we can put that one back into his little package. I do kind of wish that, like, you know, with it being a special collab notebook, I wish that the uh, the box had been different to the regular one, just because I kind of like collecting the different styles of boxes, but I'm not in any way, shape or form sad about the fact that it came in a really lovely box. <laughs> this is very nice. Put that one to the side. Point. Oh, light abuse. Light abuse. There we go. Now, the next two we got are actually double ups of ones that I've already got, but the intention behind getting those, um, so they're both from the winter collection. I don't actually remember which ones I got. I got the, the teacup and the snowflake. So I'll just go grab my ones off the shelf rather than opening these ones up, just so we can kind of see what they look like. Not. Where is the blue one? It's over here. Alright. So we have the blue snowflake with that kind of glittery cover. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so this is my edition, or my version of it. Um, this is the one that's in the box. Like my previously owned one. And then the other one is a little teacup journal, which also has that kind of glittery cover, which is quite pretty. And both of them have the gilded edge, so gilded with silver, and I believe the other one is too. Yeah, gilded with silver. Very nice. So my reasoning behind getting another couple of these ones is, no, it's a limited edition, things are going out of stock, and I would like to kind of use them for, um, like, giveaway journals. Um, you know, the ones that we do every six months where I sketch out a six-month setup for people. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that that's what I'm going to use the, uh, not yet opened ones for but we can skewt those to the side of course if you want to get yourself an archer and olive uh, product do remember that you can use my code jashikaran10 for 10% off we love a good saving savings are good for us there we go oh yeah they would totally get dirty though <laughs> i um i i think that when i use the teacup one it's going to be one that really does need a cover but this, the linen on this feels like it would be more cleanable than the linen of their other journals because it feels a bit more waterproof. Um, so, big shrug. Both very, very gorgeous journals though. I think that like, oh, <laughs> little snowflake. And the teacup is super cute too. I will say though, the cover looks a little different, eh, of the box. My one is a lot more blue interesting development anywho hi meg hi sydney yeah all right so we can plonk these over to the side politely plonk there we go. polite plonking and then the last item that i received today was the valentine's day box now um Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, first of all, happy Valentine's Day. It is Valentine's Day where I am, so it's actually kind of exciting that this arrived on Valentine's Day. Uh, this one is like a special box. They did a Valentine's Day box last year as well. Um, in the last Valentine's Day box, or 
little collection. You got this journal, uh, you got some... I believe there might have been stickers with it, I can't remember. Um, and there was certainly a little collection of acrylographs. But let's have a look and see what is in this one. If we can open it without hitting my mirror. No. And by mirror, I mean light. And I'm very confused. There we go. Beautiful. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look, there's stuff in here. So, what do we start with? Just, ah, let's just start with pens. It seems like a safe place to start. <laughs> so, you can see we have the acrylographs. Um, I believe that only two of these are actually new colors and the other colors are from like previous boxes uh, or previous collections, not necessarily boxes. So let us open this up. I'm not gonna lie, like as cute as this packaging is, I'm not gonna save it so I can really just rip into this. I'm trying to be careful, but I'm also not a very careful person sometimes. There we go, that looks good. Open in the box, try not to make a complete mess. Oh no, you spilled some water on your balance one. Oh, uh, but at least it dried clean. Yay, that was a ride. <laughs> I was like super worried and then it's like, oh no, it was okay. Alrighty, so you can see that I believe it's these two in particular, these ones on the end, the um, kind of bright orange and the yellowish color. Those are the ones that I think are new. Yeah. Um, they do not have names on them, so that does not help. I'm not gonna activate them right now just because I really but at some stage, probably in the not too distant future, when I do a whole bunch of swatching, we will swatch these guys. And along with the orange and the kind of goldish color, I mean, they're technically kind of both oranges. Uh, we have a very pale pink, a bright pink, and then a kind of like peachy salmon kind of color, but it's pretty cute. Alrighty, those ones can pop to the side for now. Get rid of the little box into the bin that I have not <laughs> have not um emptied yet certainly on my to-do list all right uh let's go with this one so we have a set of two enamel keychains keep both or give one to your bff that is cute all righty let's open it up <laughs> making nasty box noises there we go ponk 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 get in out get out get out <laughs> Do a live swatching. Oh yeah, we can totally do a live swatching. Um, I was planning on doing a live swatching possibly next week, maybe. Let's see, we'll bring up my calendar. Actually, ha 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 ha, joke's on me. I planned the pen swatches for tomorrow. So if you would like to see pen swatching tomorrow, please do let me know in the chat. Um, otherwise, uh, we're gonna do possibly like a midweek kind of plan with me, like how I use my journal in the middle of the week kind of thing on Wednesday. Um, and then we're gonna set up a monthly reflection page at some point because I need to set mine up. All right. So our beautiful enamel keychains. Oh, so cute. This guy, he fell out because I manhandled the box a little bit, but without trying to get my grubby fingerprints all over everything, <laughs> we have this little kind of like ice cream bouquet, like a bouquet that's like an ice cream, which is pretty cute. Um, in terms of size, just to give you a rough idea, we grab out our ruler, if we can remember where we put our ruler, big, big ops on that one. Oh no, where did I put my ruler? I know you exist. There you are, sneaky little bish. All right, so in terms of size, from tip to clasp, we're thinking like seven, seven and a half kind of centimeters for the ice cream. And then for the ice cream truck, we're thinking from tip to about six and a half uh, from here to the loop. So it's pretty cute. Pretty cute shit right there. I don't know what I'm going to use these for because I don't really have like a large set of keys. But oh, which one is your favorite? I would love to know. Those of you in the chat or even in the comments, if you're here on the replay, which of these ones is your favorite? I don't want to tell you which mine is because like bias and stuff. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, I will totally be, I'm going to be setting up my throws keychain. I'm going to be setting up my uh, monthly reflection page probably this week. 
just because I've been finding a couple of instances where I've wanted to fill it in. Um, but uh, in terms of filling it in, I might be able to fill in like part of it. All right, what is this? I don't know what this this thing is for, so we'll just put that away. Um, opening these guys up. I guess these might be the postcards, possibly. So nice little paper packet though. To you, X O X O Archer and Olive. Ugh. Oh, that's cute. I do appreciate that this is on paper that you could actually color in as well. Like, I know that some of their previous coloring pages haven't been on uh, pen-friendly paper. So, you're the stars to my moon. We go together like tea and lemons. We're the perfect pair. <laughs> you're the donut to my coffee. Oh, donuts. So good. There we go, let's see. We've got the little flowers, the little truck, flower bouquet, truck. Alrighty, I feel like I need to take like a proper poll here. Let's see. Team truck. One, two, ooh, three, four. Four for team truck. There we go. At least five for team truck. And then maybe like three or four of us for, for team flowers. I'm probably team flower bouquet, but I think they're both pretty cute. Alrighty, so we have the little kind of postcards. I think that, yeah, you can put a little stamp and then write a little message. It's pretty cute. But our little postcards can put those to the side. Beautiful. I'm actually very tempted to save this only because I really like the paper. <laughs> but we will see. Uh, up next. Okay. So you're about to break our heart and we're okay with it. Just pop this open to see what we mean now. I'm pretty sure that if I pop this, it's gonna make a freaking mess. <laughs> let's open it up. So, hey there, Valentine. Let's see what you got. Share a video of you opening your party popper on Instagram. Be sure to tag your crush. I know they'd like to see. That's us. We're your crush. Archer and Olive. How to open your popper. Uh, so pull the tassel, open, or grab it with both hands and rip it in half. Oh my boy get creative with it to pop it. Okay, I am probably not going to pop it right now because I really don't want to have to clean up my desk. <laughs> but we'll open it up so we can at least see. So this is our popper with its little tassel, um, which you can see the tassel kind of pulls down this little door at the bottom. So you give it a good tug, it opens up, all the things go everywhere. But that's pretty cute. It's all a little, little hanging ribbon. Yeah. And again, I don't think it shows up well on camera, but it is a kind of like pinkish kind of gold. It's not like a rose gold. I wouldn't call it a rose gold, but it is more pinkish than it shows up on camera, but it is very cute. So we will pop that to the side so I don't make a complete mess of everything. And then we have the journal, which is always like my favorite item. So that's just, yeah, that's just the way it is. We pop the journal out, out of the cute little box. So you can see this very much is in theme with the uh, acrylographs that we had. Let's see. Ooh, mini donuts. Oh, mini donuts. Give it a shake, like a Christmas present. <laughs> so you can totally hear that there are things in there. I don't know, can we open it like carefully? Oh God, oh God, oh. Nope, not gonna do it, too scary. Oh, <laughs> Let's open up our journal though, so. Like I said, this one is an A5. I believe that uh, it is white dot grid, but we will check once it is opened. There we go. Now, let's slide it off. We put that over there. And ha ha ha, another beautiful pink journal. This one has that bouquet of flowers on the front of it in a gold foil with some little hearts, which are super cute. In terms of this one, we don't have any gilded edging. We do have white paper. We've got the black pen loop. Um, let's see. Let's open them up. Specialty box of donuts for Valentine's. Damn, I'm probably going to get KFC as a like treat to myself. <laughs> because Vogel was watching the Super Bowl today, which means that um. He's pretty much eaten. He doesn't really need any food. Alrighty. So yes, very much a white dot grid paper. Little gold ampersand for our 
What's it? This thing? Bookmark. That's the one. Little gold ampersand. Bookmark. That is cute. Let's compare this, actually. I think that would be a good idea. We're going to compare it to the pink of the um, pink bits. Because that is something that I need to consider for my rainbow. In my rainbow, I'm very much trying to make sure I don't have double up colors. Even if the uh, little emblem on the front isn't the same, I, it's the colors that you see from the side. So realistically, I would like them to all be different. So let's put this to the side. Pretty box though. I love it when they have um, individualized box art. I think it's cute. All right. Grabbing the pink bat. And we should probably actually grab the other pink journal out as well, just so we can do like a full compare of all of the pinks. We'll grab all the pinks out, because why not? Ugh. So this is the Simply Gilded one that we had a look at. Oh, wait, I need to grab the Simply Gilded one as well. How many freaking pinks do I have now? Please excuse me. This is not the Simply Gilded one. This is the pink ampersand one. <laughs> so we've got the pink ampersand and we've got the pink from the Simply Gilded. There we go. Alrighty. So I do not know how well it shows up on camera. Um, especially with my lighting, but these pinks are similar but different. Let's hold them side by side. So the um, ampersand one is a slightly darker pink, which I think you can see. Um, I think you can see on camera. Um, fairly similar from the side, but still slightly darker um, for the ampersand compared to the Simply Gilded. Uh, in terms of this one, which I do not remember what the design is called, uh, this one is an even paler pink. So this is like little moon flowery things. It's not the moon flower one though, because that was white. So that one's even lighter again. So you can see we have one, two, three shades of pink. Um, and then when we get to the pink bits and the Valentine's Day box, those pinks are definitely not in the realm of our light pinks. So we'll put our light pinks to the side. Have a look at these two together. They are very similar to the extent where they might, they might be the same. Um, let's see. I think that, yeah, I think that they are very much similar. Deb, in terms of um, team, team truck versus team flowers, we are talking about the, uh, little um, enamel keychains and whether people like the truck one more or the flowers one more. Yeah. Truck or flowers. Pew, pew, pew. Put those to the side. Try not to break them. Very good. I think that, yeah, these two very much do seem like the same color of pink. Um, you can see from the side, like there doesn't really seem to be a very large difference there at all. I think they're the same. <laughs> So maybe not a contender for the Journal Rainbow just because I don't really like double ups, but all of our other pinks are different. So if we put all of our pinks together, you can see we have a little pink rainbow. These two are similar, but they are different. This one is a little bit darker. Um, and then this guy is super pale. Beautiful. Why does Valentine's have to be the only holiday with pink? Aww. Not a huge fan of Valentine's Day. You can do pink any any holiday you want. What? I mean, I know it's not necessarily the traditional colours, but we could have a pink, like, Christmas. Why not? Here we go. It does seem to be, like, maybe a little bit, like, a tiny difference. Tiny, but I think if I'm going to put them on my shelf, though, I'm going to put them <clears throat> that way around, possibly. I have slid that off because I'm not being careful, but... Anywho, that's not what we're here to do today. This is this is gonna go on the shelf. It's look pretty cute. Let's put those away and then we can get into actually setting up our book club tracker. Yeah. Pink Christmas tree, pink Christmas tree. Ding 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 ding. Just trying to slide this back on so that it sits where it should. My shelf is 
Oh, very full. <laughs> I need to find a better storage solution for the journal rainbow because it does need to build. I still need an orange journal. Um, see, an orange A5 journal. Uh, but, yes. Pinks on the shelf. Pinks on the shelf. Beautiful. I think my pink section is well stocked. I do not think I need any more pink notebooks. Drink break. Cheers. Tink. Of course. Delicacy of choice. Coke Zero. Mmm. Ah, oh, that's what I needed. Alrighty, so we are setting up our book club tracker. And by book club tracker, I really just mean a page to track my progress through our current book. Where's my journal? <laughs> there we go. So this one is probably going to go on a uh, spare page that I have in my journal at the moment. Because I was going to use it for something else, I think, but I never really uh, ended up doing that. There we go. Yeah, maybe during Halloween they'll have an orange one. Or maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be one in the spring release. We'll just have to wait and see. Alright. Our spring equinox is on March 22nd. Then you're going to autumn. Yes. Yes, I am um, currently summer for us here. So... Uh, for us, we consider December, January, and February to be summer, which means March, April, May is autumn, and then March, April, May, June, July, August is winter. Yeah, for us. <laughs> yeah, all right, I don't need any more pinks, and after all, it's just going to be like, we've released an entire new range of pinks. <laughs> Let's see. So, you can see I've already put myself a little sticky note here to say that this is where my book club tracker is going to go. Having a look at the last one we did, just for reference, just to show you kind of what I mean. So this is the tracker that I did for The Lost Apothecary, which was our book club book for January. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is what we call the J&R book club. J for Jess, R for Rachel. Uh, so this was an idea that Rachel kind of floated with me last year, like towards the end of last year, um, just so that we could kind of you know, get out of our comfort zone, read some stuff that maybe we wouldn't otherwise, um, just actually read, which would be nice. So for each month of the year, we have a little spinner wheel that has 12 different, um, genres, yeah, genres on it, uh, and towards the end of the month, we spin the wheel, we see what the genre is going to be for the month coming, and then we pick a book from that genre. So in terms of the person who's actually selecting the book, this is an alternating kind of system. So Rachel picked in January, I picked in February, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, in terms of actually picking though, we technically didn't pick ourselves. Instead, what we've done both time is uh, that <laughs> we've put together a list of several books uh, that fit into that genre, and we've gotten the people over at the Jashi Curran community Facebook group to vote on them. So if you would like to vote on our future book club books, do make sure to head over to the community group place on Facebook. Um, like everywhere else that I'm found, you can find a link to that in the description box. So yeah, every month, towards the end of the month, we put out that little poll to say what would we like to read. And for February, our genre is horror, and the book that won the poll is Mexican Gothic. Um, <laughs> I'm not necessarily thriving with Mexican Gothic. I was finding it quite hard to read, like, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, like read the actual words. So I ended up doing um, a audiobook instead. Uh, but then I was finding the audiobook too slow, so now I'm back to reading actual words. In both cases though, they are ebooks. I'm not, um, I don't have a physical copy of the book, which would probably make me a little more inclined, I feel, to keep on top of it because then you have an actual physical book that you can physically see your progress through. So, I don't know. This is effectively my solution. So I have a tracker to just keep on top of my book progress. Now, the first thing I'm gonna need to do is figure out how many chapters are in the book. <laughs> if there's anybody here that's in the live chat that is reading Mexican Gothic that can tell me how many chapters there are, I would like love to hear it because I'm not too sure where I'm going to find this information. Probably should have looked it up before we started, but hey, that sounds like just on a Monday. 
not planning ahead. <laughs> All right, where was I? Here. This is where we're putting it. So, are we doing a sci-fi slash fantasy genre? We are doing a fantasy genre. I cannot remember if sci-fi was on our list. Um, but fantasy certainly was. So, ones that I remember. 27 chapters. Thank you, Tammy. 27, 27, 27, 27. 27, just before I forget. Um, so, ones that I remember. We are doing... Well, we've already done historical fiction. That was for January. We've got horror for February. Uh, other genres we have are personal development. Uh, autobiography. We have literally just said one fantasy uh we have smut um slash erotica we have a graphic novel um we have i really need to keep a list of these somewhere because i constantly forget ah dear some other ones je ne sais pas i think there's one that's like um a thriller a thriller category possibly yeah i don't know there's a bunch of categories though rachel has a list of them i really need to actually grab those off her so maybe I'll make a note of that in my weekly there we go uh, get list of book genres genres of Rachel Because she is the person with the spinner. She is the person who has the, um, yeah, <laughs> all of those. Audiobook's too slow. Yeah, so I would listen to it on a faster speed, but I'm on a website that I'm pretty sure has stolen it from Audible. <laughs> so their player is actually totally awful to, to listen to and to use. Um, but it did help very much with the, uh, like, pronunciation of certain things, especially Noemi. Like, I didn't know how to pronounce Noemi's name. So that wasn't great. Now, let's have a think about how we want to plan this out. Because I've been enjoying doing the little blackout headings. So I think I'm going to do a blackout heading here. But I don't want to do all of this colour. I really just, I really couldn't be bothered doing all of that colour, as beautiful as it is. Um, so I think instead of doing that, I'm probably going to make three columns. Because it's 27. So three columns that I can check off and then maybe the... The gradient could be in those columns. That might work. Yeah, see, Plant Based Bride's journal collection did include an orange journal, but it wasn't an A5, so I couldn't use it in my rainbow, because my rainbow is an A5 rainbow. <laughs> Where is my pen? There it is. Cool. So, we are going to need to plan out our page, which, as I said, I very much like to do things in pencil first. Just in case, that is an HB. I want my 2H pencil. 2H, just because it's a little bit lighter, it's a little bit easier to erase. So, in terms of my heading, I'm thinking I need to measure across as well, because otherwise my columns aren't going to be evenly distributed and it'll make me sad. So, let's see, can we nicely divide this? So, that's 12 across. So 12 divided by 3 is 4, pretty sure. So that looks good. We'll have column smack bang on the edge though. That's a bit tight. Um, I think I might want to take that out by one dot just because actually having the boxes to check off right against the black washi tape is probably not going to make me feel great. Or I could just pull the black washi tape off because it is black washi tape. So, <laughs> but there was probably a reason I put it here. Yeah, I can see why I put it here, because I came over on this side. What we're going to do is we're going to pull this off, and we're going to run some washi tape along here, but it's going to be thinner washi tape, just so we can keep that kind of clean edge, but we don't lose any of this page, if that kind of makes sense. Kindle Unlimited? What's Kindle Unlimited? I was tempted to get a Kindle. Hmm. <laughs> all right so we're gonna need to washi tape first just so that we know how much space we actually have 
And in terms of the washi I'm going to be using for this, I'm going to be using black again because I liked the idea of a black border. I'm just going to be using this thinner one. So we don't, we don't, words, we don't lose as much space uh, across the side of the page. Ugh. I kind of shoved this in here pretty tight, so. There we go. Yeah, this way we don't actually lose any of the dots technically, but I'm not going to take it all the way to the uh, edge of the dots like I normally would. You know, lose one column rather than like two or three though. That's not too bad. Could be better. Could be worse. Oh, we should probably turn on our music, shouldn't we? We like to have our backing track. And this time, hopefully, just won't open Netflix and deafen everybody. I apologize for anybody who was here on yesterday's live stream who got like a jump scare because we opened up Netflix and then one of their ads started playing and my speaker was turned up like super loud. <laughs> that was not ideal. That was not the business. Now, um, that looks good. That looks good. Again, if my music's too loud, just let me know and I will turn it down. If you are trimming washi tape near the uh, edge of your page, please do make sure that your bookmark is out of the way so you do not accidentally cut off your bookmark. This has been a PSA from Jess. There we go. <laughs> I do like to have my music going so I can bop along to it as well. the backing track there we go we don't we do not need the secondary accompaniment from me <laughs> we can just trim that little part off and put our washi tape back into the drawer it's beautiful I do like these little tape dispensers they are quite cute I don't often use this part but it's handy to have you know, it keeps it contained my washi tape drawer is still looking exceptionally better than it was before our de-stash. And I am gonna do a giveaway with the washi tape. I just have not uh, organized how that is going to work. Cause I like the idea of a giveaway. It's a bit fun. Maybe we should play some kind of like secret code system. So it's like every live you have to like pick up a secret word <laughs> and then get all the secret words together to, to actually figure out like how to I don't know, enter the giveaway or something. It sounds very complicated, but... Oh yeah, melt it back together with fire. And don't set your bujo on fire. <laughs> See, but when you say something like that, it means I want to ask, how do you know this? There we go. Beautiful. So now that washi strip is just a little bit thinner. It's not intruding on our page quite so much. So we have a little bit more space to play. A little bit more space to actually put things in, which is favorable. You're just <laughs> like the secret phase. Like let Leaf go. No, Leaf is he stays with me. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go with the system of like if that's 13 then typically I would have one here but we're gonna move it one over so I can leave there and this one would be four break five and this one would be eight and a half break there okay so this is where the new placement is for no apparent reason there you go just so that it's still fairly evenly spaced but it is uh, a little bit less tight on the edge here, which is nice. So, 27 divided by three, nine? Quick maths? Nine. I, nine, only nine down. Okay, so we can probably do full centimeter boxes for this then, um, and then have some space at the bottom of the page just to write some notes, if there's any notes about the book that I wanna take. Um, and then the title, I don't think, I think I'll just do one black banner the whole way across. Um, so if the black banner goes the entire way across, I'm then just going to leave a gap and then it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
<laughs> Nine. And then the space at the bottom can just be for notes. That looks cute. We will work with that. And in terms of the actual drawing out of the boxes, I am going to use my Tombos. Um, and I might actually just colour them in as like coloured squares. Do I want to use my washi tape to make the borders nice? Technically, I do. But... Now I need to think about it, because technically speaking, each of the coloured bands we have over here is one centimetre, like, tall. Um, this one goes across two bands, this one sits within one band, this one goes across two, that one sits on one. So, how am I gonna handle the jandle on that? On that. Something to think about once I've finished drawing out my little boxes. Also, do I want to outline the boxes in black or do I just want them to be coloured? Because if I just want them to be coloured, I really need to just um, either outline them in colour and then colour them in, or I could lay down the washi tape as like a masking trick and then colour inside of that. But if I outline them in black, then I can just colour them in and I don't really have to worry because the black border kind of saves me. I think I'm going to do the black border just because then it kind of matches my theme with a the whole like black color contrast kind of thing. I would outline them in dark green, but I really want the gradient effect from this to be in those boxes. And I don't want to try and mix green into my color palette. Does it kind of make sense? Um, it would be nice if in future, like, let's, let's just muse, muse for a second, let's just pretend that I start a reading journal. If I started a reading journal, it would be super cool to have, like, a page, like, a spread or something where I can keep track of the book, like, my little book tracker, and then also have some other kind of, like, notes or, like, questions or something about it, all in the theme of the book's cover. I think that'd be pretty cute, but not today. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, okay. So, we're gonna need to use a black pen that is waterproof to do the outlining because otherwise what will happen is that I'll go in with my beautiful yellow pen uh, to do my coloring in and it'll turn into muddy ass gross gray. So my Faber-Castell pen artist pens are my waterproof pen of choice, waterproof pen of choice. Um, they, they, they do me well, they don't do me wrong. Uh, I will be ruling these boxes because I love my ruler. I love a straight line. It makes me happy on the inside. All right. <laughs> what you're hearing is that I need to start a reading journal. Um, see, I wouldn't be against it. I just don't read enough to really feel like it's worth... It, it, would, it would feel like a wasted... Not like a wasted journal. What's the, what's the word? Like, it wouldn't be worth the effort kind of a thing. Like, I would put all this effort into making this beautiful, I assume it's beautiful, um, journal that then it would only get used once a month <laughs> for my one reading book book. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That looks good. Um, what I would be keen to do though would be some kind of like a watching journal, like Dano, of Dano's Blue Joe's done. Because I, I, I watch stuff more than I read stuff. But then I also don't know if I have the time or inclination to bother, like, filling out things about the things I'm watching. Like, I kind of like that it's a hobby that doesn't require a lot of effort. You just sit there and watch it. <laughs> but I do think that... I love reading journals. I've gotten into, like, a real reading journal kick of, like, watching a whole bunch of them and, like all of these different reading challenges they're doing, like the A to Z one, and the 1 to 52, and the um, the one that's like a challenge of like uh, reading books with different colors on the cover, and like all of those, very, very cool. I just, um, I don't read enough. I say I don't read enough, but I, I read enough to make myself happy, at least. I'm not a big reader. And if I do read, I usually like to read things that I feel like are gonna have uh, quote, tangible value, and for me that usually means, um, self-help, 
personal development kind of stuff. But it's not to say that I don't see value in other reading, because like totally do. It's just that for what I'm doing in my life, I find maybe it's like a I don't even know. I don't I don't think it's like a guilt thing. That's not that's not the right word for it. Um, I just find that like I feel like if I'm not doing things that aren't to better myself in some way, I feel like I should be doing other things that are to better myself in some way. So I, I feel like this is in part a teacher problem, that idea of like whenever you're on holidays or like even when you're on sick leave, it's terrible, and you get like, I don't know, guilty about spending time for yourself. You're just like, oh, I should really prepare for X or I should really prepare for Y. Or like you're taking sick leave and you're like, oh, well, I should prepare for tomorrow's lessons. I'm like, girl, you're on sick leave. <laughs> like, calm down. You are literally not at school so that you could be unwell. Like, stop that. Um, it is a problem, I, I will say. I feel like I got myself on a complete tangent. <laughs> All this to say, I am not a big uh, fiction reader because when I read, I prefer to read things that are non-fiction, like personal development books. And that is why this reading challenge is good for me, because it's actually making me read things outside of that genre. Even if I have been hit by the struggle bus with Mexican Gothic. <laughs> not to say I'm not enjoying it, I'm just finding it challenging. Doo doo. Oh. I try to keep myself. Yeah, I know, right? It spends way too much time, like, ruling all of these boxes out, but I always find that a ruled box makes me happier than a hand-drawn one, unless I'm going for an overall hand-drawn aesthetic kind of a thing. Oh, I should check the poll for what's going to be my theme for next month. Just getting distracted again. <laughs> but I want to see this poll. Let's see. What's in the lead? Oh, interesting. Controversy. I'm not going to tell you guys what the theme is because, like, spoilers and stuff, but... I'm excited about it because I'm hoping to start um, sketching out my layouts this evening once the poll closes so that I can um, possibly film the setup tomorrow. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Get that video edited so it actually goes up on Sunday. Apologies that my Sunday video didn't come up this week. I just. Ah, that booster, he can kick my butt. Kick on my butt. And I do always appreciate when people say like, oh, you don't have to apologize if you like miss a video or a but like, I do feel a sense of obligation. Like I appreciate people being able to rely on me putting out content on a like, you know, continually regular time set kind of basis. Um, oh, notebook therapy journal, you're digging it. I would be interested to try a notebook therapy journal. I've not tried one before. Um, obviously, I'm not really in in great need of a new notebook because <laughs> I have plenty, uh, but I'm always curious about other notebooks. I really need to open my string and space one and have a look at that, but I do realize I think it's a hundred and question mark 120 GSM, which is not my preferred GSM, but hey. Good self growth. Yeah, 52 small changes. That sounds cool. I like that. I like the sound of this book. I also want to read the book of questions. Supposedly, it's pretty good. Like, you know, we love a good question. Alrighty, 52 small changes. The pen that I'm currently using is the Pit Artist Pen in the M size, uh, but for my everyday writing in my journal, I'm typically using the uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy pen. In particular, the, I don't know, clickable, liquidy one. Yeah. Oh, I am holding onto this ruler really hard <laughs> and my hand is very sore. I do find this when I'm doing a lot of ruling, I really press down hard on my ruler with my, uh, you know, 
hand that is holding ruler, uh, and it starts to hurt a bit after a while. I haven't even been doing that much ruling. It's really because I haven't done a lot of ruling uh, recently. Like, a whole heap. The, um, the March setup that I did in the giveaway journal, that one was a grid theme. Like a, um, you know, like my pegboard stuff, like that I've, I've done in my own journal a couple of times. Uh, it was that kind of a theme. It, of course, had a lot of ruled lines. Uh, I'm so bummed that I lost the footage for it because it was a very nice setup, which would have been nice to share with you guys, but alas, life happened. The footage was lost. Sadness ensued. Boom. Okay, so we have some boxes. They're looking at pretty cute. Um, what we do need to do now is, ha ha ha, color them in. Atomic Habits was a great book. I really enjoyed Atomic Habits, and I think that the system that James Clear proposes for setting habits and, like, actually being able to stick with them is really helpful. I, um, actually used it for making, like, a goal-setting kind of worksheet for my students at the start of this year. So, once they'd set their goals, thinking about how do we break it down into, like, tiny, tiny steps. Um, and tiny steps that we can do repeatedly, and then thus, how can we make it so that we actually do those things? Uh, I, yes, much, much appreciation for that system. It works very well for me. There we go. Ow, hand. <laughs> I'm trying to shake it out. <laughs> Okay, so we need a header, and I'm wondering if I want to make the header one centimeter or one and a half, because if it's one centimeter then there's like a bigger gap. Uh, I think it should work. Uh, thankfully, we do still have our little paper pack here, so we can uh, rummage underneath all of this white paper to find my pack of black and see if there's a piece in here that would go the whole way across. If not, we do have some other pieces of black in here too. There we go. Do you like to read books? Uh, not like, oh god, I'm not gonna say no because like I find a lot of value in reading, it's just that I do not read very often. Um, probably in part because I spend a lot of my uh, free time doing YouTubey stuff. <laughs> Free time is not something I have super, super lots of, if I'm honest. Um, and if I do have free time, a lot of the time I'll spend it, uh, you know, trying to see my friends and that kind of stuff. I might play a, play a game on the Xbox um, if I have the time to, but... Okay, so this is technically long enough, but it only has one line of dots, and I'm not too sure... If I want to try and cut that so that then it fits there. So I'm going to not do that one. This one does have enough lines of dots. Um, and we're going to put it here. I think I might use that piece. Because um, the rest of these ones aren't actually big enough. But they can just go back into our little bag. Keeping all my paper together. I am so glad that we cleaned up my paper stack. Um, my little paper stash, should I say. Um, and put all the papers in the different colored bags. Like it has made my life so much easier. And I actually, like having gone through them, know what I have available in terms of my scrap paper. So big props to us, round of applause. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Very pleased. There we go. So I can put that back here. This guy we're going to cut. Uh, so it's only a centimeter tall. And we're gonna then trim the end off. In terms of the cutting, just because I want to make it so it's a nice, um, straight line, I shall be using my trusty ruler rotary trimmer. Uh, so line that up. So the line is in the right place. Put it down and slice. I'm just gonna rip it up a little, little, little bit. I'm checking it from this angle so I can see if it's straight here. Looks pretty good. Alrighty. There we go. Take that piece off and then this is the piece we will actually use. This guy can go back into the little paper bag. Ah! Throw my paper around. Put it into the paper bag. No. We shall not free leaf. Leaf will stay forever until 
you know, probably the end of a month of planning. It's okay, he's done half of his jail sentence. He will escape one day. <laughs> probably only to get his head ripped off and his gut sucked out, but shh. There we go. We have that. We just need to trim the last one off. That one I'll just do with my scissors because it's a very short distance. I do not feel like I need to have a paper trimmer to cut that straight. Neck minute. What? No, okay. Just stop being silly. Got to be sensible. You're playing with scissors here. Well, not playing with. Using. We are using scissors. So this little piece, it is okay to let the tiny piece go. Goodbye, tiny piece. And we will stick this yeah okay i actually need to go get a acrylograph to write on that where did i put my white acrylograph i wonder did i i don't think i put it back <laughs> yeah it did sound a bit dark didn't it my bad nick minute i'm gonna ruin your day oh no <laughs> We do also need to decide when we're going to have our patron-only live stream, eh? Oh, and I'm thinking we might try and make the patron-only live uh, this weekend coming, possibly? Possibly. My favourite YouTuber, um, his name is Captain Vogel. Uh, <laughs> okay, honestly, favourite YouTuber to, like, watch. Okay, I'm not gonna name just one because I'm me and I can't. I'm going to name a couple. So, people that I really enjoy watching. I love watching Cindy of Llama's Love Lettering. Her name's Cindy Goodribaldo. Um, I really love watching uh, Craftinated because she's just a gem. I just love Erica. Um, I really love watching, I'm trying to keep it all within kind of a journaling-esque realm otherwise I'd be like, I like Sam the Cooking Guy, I like Marion's Kitchen. Um, I really like Julia Royal Journals, she does some really good work. I love Dots and Beyond, Dots and Beyond is awesome. Um, I also love Bright Violet Arts because her, her drawings are just awesome, like they're so cute. I love her little kind of like curly, curvy pin-up kind of um, doodles, they're awesome. Um, Maritime Bujo is another one, she is She's doing very impressive art, like, um, totally love her. Uh, who else comes to mind? Uh, um, let's see. I like... Hmm, trying to think. We love Erin of Erin Floater Designs. We love, um, Natasha Miller Letters, um... These are all people, these, this particular collection of people are people that I kind of know outside of, I'd say outside of the YouTube space. I've never actually met them physically in person or anything, but they're very nice people and I do love their work. Um, yeah, I probably missed a bunch of people, but those are some favorites that I can think of. Yes. Oh, Dano from Dano's Boudreaux, of course. He's a cutie. Um, yeah, I think that's a good, that's a good list, right? So, I am going to write Mexican Gothic. That's what I'm going to do. I probably, okay, I probably should actually make sure I've activated the pen properly because otherwise it's just going to be a watery mess. We don't want a watery mess. We want it to be white. Work out. Uh, uh. I'm going to shake it this way so it doesn't look so weird. That probably is enough, I assume. Uh, I need a paper. Um, where can I find a paper? I'm, like trying to look around my desk. Okay, there you go. On the back of the blue post-it note. So just to make sure we have the ink looking opaque-ish. That is very watery. Looks like we need to do some more shaking. Ah! Shake it, shake, shake it. Try not to punch yourself in the face when you're shaking it. Because <laughs> I've done that once or twice before. This is like that shake weight thing. 
and really don't need my arm fat to jiggle like this. That's gross. <laughs> there we go. That should that should be fine. I think that that will suffice. That looks a little bit more opaque. There you go. Blue, 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 white. All right. I'm gonna call it on that. That looks fine. If it's not, we will just suffer through it together. So, M. E. Yep, I can spell. X. I with the lines. I see. See, the thing is, like, okay, on my current weekly, I just used a regular all caps lettering for my headers. And I look at it and I'm just like, mm, it's a bit boring. But when I do the same thing in white pen on black paper, I'm just like, oh revolutionary chef's kiss where where are the awards <laughs> it's literally the exact same lettering it's just inverted colors mexican gothic g i think that's part of the reason i didn't use my weekly today i'm not completely sold on how it looks I find that I'm very influenced by whether I use my journal. Um, like, I'm very influenced as to how much I use my journal based on whether I actually like the layouts I have and if I think they're pretty. <laughs> and then we just like fill the rest of this space up with like thick. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm glad that you managed to make it to the live. That's exciting. Thank you for being here. Uh, time for me is 6.05 p.m. Uh, so probably time to start thinking about dinner soon, but we still have this page to finish, so no worries. Drying off the title. I think I'm just gonna leave it as Mexican Gothic because I could like try and cram in the author's name, but no, 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 no. Try and blow this without um, getting it on the camera. That was not how I meant to word that. Um, try and dry the ink without blowing into the microphone. Chicken and corn soup, that sounds nice. I am having KFC because it is Valentine's Day and I am treating myself. And Vogel has said I'm allowed to. Ding, ding, ding. There we go. <laughs> Leftover pizza, that sounds good. Alrighty, 10.36 a.m. That's not bad. Um, yeah, not, not too shabby. So we're using double-sided tape just to attach this to the top of the page. Uh, checking that the ink is dry so when we flip it over we don't ruin our lives. And roll it through. Roll it through. I have found that this tape wo um, roller works pretty well. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it. Um, would buy again. I prefer the Tombow one, so would be more inclined to buy that one, but this has worked quite well. I think that it is cheaper than the Tombow, which is quite nice. <laughs> so also insert middle finger emoji. I'm pretty sure you could just send the middle finger emoji. Like we have the technology. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna stop you. You couldn't get to KFC. I really just want gravy and chips, like chips with extra seasoning. Otherwise the chips aren't worth it. Um, I needed to put more glue on the end here, so I'm gonna see if I can attach some. Ouch, that hurt my finger. That was a choice. Come on, Jess, what are you doing with your life? There we go, that works. Boom. Ding, 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 ding. Mexican Gothic. So, we are going to colour in the little boxes, um, and we might just write like one to three to like write the numbers down on the side. I don't think I need to. What, on my last tracker, I decided I was going to be a little bit more hardcore and I wrote like CH1 and then like what the chapter was like called or like who was in charge of the chapter. No, who we were focusing on in each chapter. Uh, in this one, I'm just going to write the numbers. I think that that is sufficient. Mm, chips and gravy. Got myself hungry again. <laughs> 
Now, do I want to do zero one or just one? I think I'll just do. Uh. Oh, I do like the idea of balancing it by having two digits the whole way down, but I'm also. It's not necessary, just write the number one. Okay, I did it. It says one, two. I always dislike when you get to numbers that have double digits that are the same in them. For instance, like 11, I can never get the ones to actually look the same as each other. Um, it's the same with lettering. <laughs> and when you've got a name like mine, that's not ideal. Yeah, five. Seven, uh, eight, nine, beautiful, ten, uh, ten, hello Amber, glad that you are here with us, and apologies to anybody who's jumped in and said hi and I've missed you saying hi, like, uh, no, no uh, ill intentions there. I'm just very unobservant when it comes to the um, <laughs> chat. I love that Jess ends the live abruptly. <sighs> the hunger compelled me. <laughs> there was a live recently that we had to finish quite quickly, wasn't there? For some reason, I know it was uh, not talking about the uh, the patron live, which was a uh, abridged due to Vogel. I feel like there was another live we would Oh yeah, it was the one where I was about to miss my meeting. That's the one. <laughs> I remember. We've been we've we've been doing a good job on these lives though. I do feel a lot more comfortable being uh, live on camera than when we started. Um I mean, I feel like I still have a long way to go, but this has certainly been helpful for me. So thank you for all of you who have been sticking around for the lives. Um whether that be in the, you know, actual yeah, live in the chat with me or on the replay, like either is good. Yeah, when Dano came back and like kicked my butt. <laughs> it was your a uh, club meeting uh, Tuesday? Uh, my club? Do I have a club? Wait, I've got a book club. <laughs> the leaf turned off the live in protest. I don't quite know what you mean by that, get a scrub. Sorry. <laughs> what should we do for our last live of a month of planning with me? That is a good question. I really hope I put these numbers in correctly like, because I haven't really been paying attention. I actually kind of have a tendency to accidentally um, miss uh, the double numbers. Like if I'm count, like numbering or counting or something and not really paying attention because it goes like two, 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 three. So in my head, I just go, oh yeah, two, three. <laughs> like, rather than um, actually including 22. Uh, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, okay, we did this right. We can count. We're mathemagicians. 24, 25, 26, and 27. Now, when it comes to coloring these in, um, we, uh, Like I said before, some of these butt up against a place that has like two different shades. And I don't want to have two shades in these boxes. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll just take like the top color for each instance. So like this one will be that color, this one will be that one, and then that one will be like the pink, I guess. That just, that seems like quite a gap though, doesn't it? I think for the yellows and oranges, it won't be too bad because this, this part of the gradient makes a lot of sense this part has a sudden jump so I feel like all three of those colors need to be here so maybe we'll do the dark purple number one the magenta number two because it actually lines up with the magenta and then the hot pink number three so rather than that being the blue purple it'll just be the kind of redder purple
let's jump into the tombos and grab ourselves some coolers. Oh, that bin is full. I keep looking at it. Yeah. We just want the Tombow colors and we need to put them in order again so we know what order to color things in. And in true Jess fashion, we will make sure to check it twice so that we don't start coloring in the top box yellow like that one time, which wasn't great. All right, we won't need the black because we're not going down that far. Should be fine. Blue, 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 blue. I actually don't even need the blue because I'm not doing the blue part. I'm just doing the purple part, and I also don't need the blue purple. Ugh. Try and not shake those out. Okay, that purple first. No blue purple. So, the purple, and then the magenta, and then the 725 pink, and then the 815 pink? No, that's the red pink. The red pink, and then the red, and then the orange red, and then the reddish orange <laughs> nine three nine two five that nope those are the other way around you are a beautiful golden color you are my favorite yellow you are not my favorite yellow and these two are the light yellows so that's the uh little rainbow the little rainbow we play with um and i think i might just pull out the ones that were actually um i do have the order written down but I actually find it easier to just look at the colors um, because I am pretty familiar with a good chunk of these pens. It actually probably would take me more time to go and find the list of numbers and then actually find the number on the pen because while this one is looking pretty good, uh, this one's not so good. And then this one is completely rubbed off. So I find if I just look at the pen caps, I'm actually usually in the right place, which is nice. So. We decided it was gonna be this purple for that one, so that one can stay. The magenta was going here, so that one can stay. The hot pink was going here, so that one can stay. The next pink was not going here because that was going to be the reddish pink. So that one can stay, reddish pink. That's the red red. The orange red is out. Uh, the reddish orange is in. The orange orange is in. The light orange is out. The gold and the next gold are in. Yeah, and then we're on to these ones which are out. Cool. Just to check, we do have nine colors. Yes, we do, because they're going to work down the page. Nice and easy. There we go. Got 5.15 a.m. Oh, well, I'm glad that we can be here with you in your time of pain because boo hiss, getting up in the morning sucks. <laughs> Let's do some coloring, team. When you listen to your backing tracks enough to actually know which ones come after which ones. <laughs> I do appreciate the freedom of not having to lay down the washi tape this time. Oh, that's kind of nice. I probably should have thought through about how I'm going to cross these boxes off because I, um, I don't want to use different colors, but this is quite dark, and the rest of them are probably bright enough that you could use a black in them. But, hey, we live and we learn, and I'm pretty sure this track is gonna look pretty cute, regardless. I'm pretty happy with it so far. And I do like the simplicity of just having the numbers rather than writing out chapter each time. Whose dumb idea was that? <laughs> Pass, Jess, what you doing? What you playing at? Um. But yeah, I just think that this will help uh, help me be a little bit more inclined to keep keep up with the reading. Because at the moment, I think I've just started chapter six. Um, I just started chapter six last night, so I'm you know it's halfway through the month, and I'm not even a third of the way through the book. There is certainly going to be some catching up to do. And I'm not too sure if these chapters are of similar sizes to each other. I'm not sure if the chapters that are later on are like bigger or whatnot, but hey. At least it gives me a metric of success, which is nice. Uh, yes, well, oh, good night. I hope that your bedtime goes fabulously and you get an excellent night's sleep and we will catch you on the replay.
Creek, 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 creek. Yeah, this gradient isn't looking too bad. I think that, um, although there is like a little bit of a jump here, it actually doesn't look as obvious as it looks when they're right next to each other. I think that having the little boxes separated actually makes the gradient look more, um, gradienty. Especially because there are some of the colors that we pulled out to, you know, not include. So I think that, um, having them uh, a little bit separated is actually quite nice. This pen constantly surprises me with how red it is because I always think of it as like a genuine pink. Um, but it is a lot more red than, uh, than I usually expect it to be. All right, on to the actual red. I feel like I should have gotten a new red pen. I went to the, uh, the art supply shop the other day and got some new Tombos that I just got the black and the blue that were both running out. The rest of them all seem kind of okay. This guy sometimes gives me some grief, but he's been pretty good recently. Uh, Grant Cram. Probably in part because I've been storing them horizontally rather than vertically, which means that, you know, the ink doesn't run out of the tip, for instance. Here we go. I've been actually thinking in the car, um, you know, just as a casual side note, that it'd be really fun to take a class, like, as a teacher, <laughs> as a teacher that's not a class in a school. I don't know what the class would be on, but it, like, even if it was just a virtual class, I just thought that it might be kind of nice. Um, something to look into. No idea what I'd teach, but it'd be cute. Jessica, please try not to go outside the lines. You drew these beautiful lines in, and now you're just ignoring them. What a mess. This, this is my new favorite orange. Uh, my old favorite orange has been put back in the box, but this is the one that I've been using more, more recently as my new favorite orange. I don't know if it happens to you, but I have like certain Tombos for any given color that I like tend towards. So like, this is my favorite orange. That's my pink that I usually tend towards. Uh, what, this one is the yellow that I usually tend towards. I have certain colours in particular that speak to me, that I use more often than others. Who won the Super Bowl? Not the Bengals? Question mark? <laughs> I don't know who was playing, uh, but I'm pretty sure Vogel said that the Bengals didn't win, whoever they are shrug could be talking schmack beautiful this is looking cute This bottom section here is just gonna be for like notes so we're probably gonna write in a little header I mean I didn't really use my notes section for the last book but I think it would be good to write some notes down about this one uh, yeah, just some some passing thoughts um, so that when it comes time for our book club meeting I'll actually have something to talk about if you're not part of our book club and if you'd like to join it um, most of our book clubbing stuff is done over on the Discord, which is also linked in the description box. Um, in terms of the stuff we do there, we have a monthly meeting that we kind of do, you know, just via Discord, via either audio or camera, depending on what you're comfortable with. Um, last month we did a, like, a series of questions that were put out by the author as part of, like, a book club kit, uh, just to kind of lead our discussion and voice our thoughts about the characters and all of this. Um, it was a lot of fun though. It was, it was very cool to hear other people's perspectives. So if you would like to get involved with that, jump on over to the Discord. Um, we would love to have you there. You just need to go to the, um, the books section, which is like down the left hand side of Discord, and there'll be one called the JNR Book Club. The pinned comment in there um, 
you can react to with a little book emoji and that will add you to the book club list just so that then if we send out any kind of notifications for the book club uh, you actually get notified yes Notes, yeah. I'll put that there. Here's the corner. Notes. We'll just do it little. We'll just do it little. T E S. And then we can check off the chapters we've read. Um, one and two and three and four. And five. Boom. Progress. I feel like that pen is not thick enough to tick that off, so I'm going to go over it and tick it with the, the medium size. Just so that those ticks are super obvious. To be like, yes, progress. We're killing it. Um, I'm going to go a little higher on that one. Yola. And that one. And that one. It's looking pretty cute. I am pleased. Page nine. You're on page nine again? <laughs> Hopefully you got past page nine on um on this book. Let's see. Don't want to break my association with some deep thinking and productive work though. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. I think this is pretty much done. I think this is all I really need to do with it, eh? Because yeah, it's got the chapters. I can tick them off once I've read them. That's really all I want. So I think we are going to call it there. Um, hopefully you guys uh, have enjoyed being here with us. Um, for as much time as you have been able to join us, it has been a pleasure to have you here with us. I'm gonna go get some KFC because it's Valentine's Day and I want to treat myself. Um, <laughs> As I said, if you want to join our book club, we would love to have you. Just jump on over to the Discord. Um, if you have any questions over there because you haven't used Discord before, totally fine. Most of us are noobs at Discord, anywho. And if you want to vote on our next book club book, uh, the poll for that will be coming up in the next like week or so. Make sure to jump over to the Facebook group, which again is also linked in the description box. Everything's in the description box. Let's just let's just all jump down there. If you're jumping down there, I want to give the video a like because you're a cool person and you liked the video. But again, only if you liked the video, because like you know, if you didn't like it, you don't have to like it. I'm not gonna make you do things. Um, I'm a go. <laughs> good night and goodbye gorgeous humans until next time tomorrow we're doing a pen test and by that i mean a pen swatch so i'd love to see you there for that now let's see if i can remember how to turn my live off let's press on press on the, the button the button that says goodbye good